I wanted to demonstrate how to use seasonality in your analysis, and I'm going to use the historical price return distribution for that. I'm going to type in really quick, switch this to Apple, and let's switch it to the seasonality. And right now the start date is June 21st, and I'm just going to extend that out to the July 21st. And let's see in the last 12 years how Apple performed during this time period. And over here we could see that it actually had... Um, some seasonal strength 80 83 percent of the time in the last 12 years it's gone up in this time period uh the average drift during that time period is 4.7 percent this is the average up move average down move in that period we also see the the biggest up move and uh biggest down move for that period and this allows us to do a few things now let's assume that this it's 50 50 if the stock goes up from here and barring any significant um, news event or any type of something that will make it move one way or the other. If there is a seasonal strength, just like the data suggests, then you're actually improving your odds even by a little bit, and that's your edge. If, as long as you could improve your odds even a slightly more than 50-50, then that's your statistical edge in your trading. And the idea is if you're... Uh, going in or thinking either holding a position for this time period or doing some kind of a call spread or a put spread, then you could use these statistics to help you out in some directional edge. Another thing you might want to look at is if we go here below, you could take a look at um, the the absolute average, average move during that period to see if you're looking uh, for a straddle in either direction that will help you with the, the absolute average move will help you with that or you can look at the the biggest up and biggest down move um, also if you just wanted to see um, how the stock performed for any one given any one of these given periods you could also do that and this finally this chart over here kind of just shows you on average where the low point and the high point is during this June 21st to July 21st period historically um, and this chart over here just kind of shows you the trend over time uh, to help you in that analysis. So again, this is a stat statistical analysis on seasonality, and I used Apple as an example. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.